Judges chapter 18 In those days there was no king in Yishra'el, and in those days the tribe of the Danim sought them an inheritance to dwell in. For to that day their inheritance had not fallen to them among the tribes of Yishra'el. And the children of Dan sent of their family five men from their whole number, men of valor, from Thora'ah and from Eshtaol, to spy out the land and to search it. And they said to them, Go, search the land. And they came to the hill country of Ephraim, to the house of Michah, and lodged there. When they were by the house of Michah, they knew the voice of the young man, the Lewi, and they turned aside thither and said to him, Who brought thee hither? And what doest thou in this place? And what hast thou here? And he said to them, Thus and thus hath Michah dealt with me, and he hath hired me, and I am become his priest. And they said to him, Ask counsel, we pray thee, of God, that we may know whether our way, which we go, shall be prosperous. And the priest said to them, Go in peace, before Yahweh is your way, wherein ye go. Then the five men departed, and came to Laish, and saw the people that were therein, how they dwelt in security, after the manner of the Thedornim, quiet and secure, for there was none in the land possessing authority that might put them to shame in anything, and they were far from the Thedornim, and had no dealings with any man. And they came to their brothers to Thora'ah and Eshtahol, and their brothers said to them, What say ye? And they said, Arise, let us go up against them, for we have seen the land, and behold, it is very good. And are ye still? Be not slothful to go and to enter in to possess the land. When ye go, ye shall come to a people secure, and the land is large, for God hath given it into your hand, a place where there is no lack of anything that is in the earth. And there set forth from thence of the family of the Danim, out of Thora'ah and out of Eshtahol, six hundred men, girt with weapons of war. And they went up and encamped in Qiryat Ya'arim in Yehuda. For what reason they called that place Mahnedan to this day? Behold, it is behind. And they passed thence to the hill country of Ephraim, and came to the house of Michah. Then answered the five men that went to spy out the country of Laish, and said to their brothers, Do ye know that there is in these houses an ephod, and teraphim, and an engraved image, and a molten image? Now therefore consider what ye have to do. And they turned aside thither, and came to the house of the young man, the Lewi, even to the house of Michah, and asked him of his welfare. And the six hundred men girt with their weapons of war, who were of the children of Dan, stood by the entrance of the gate. And the five men that went to spy out the land went up, and came in thither, and took the graven image, and the ephod, and the teraphim, and the molten image, and the priest stood by the entrance of the gate, with the six hundred men girt with weapons of war. And when these went into Micah's house, and fetched the graven image, the ephod, and the teraphim, and the molten image, the priest said to them, What do ye? And they said to him, Hold thy peace, lay thy hand upon thy mouth, and go with us, and be to us a father and a priest. Is it better for thee to be priest to the house of one man, or to be priest 
to a tribe and the family in Yisrael. And the priest's heart was glad, and he took the ephod and the teraphim and the graven image and went in the midst of the people. So they turned and departed and put the little ones and the cattle and the goods before them. When they were a good way from the house of Michah, the men that were in the houses near to Michah's house were called out and overtook the children of Dan. And they cried to the children of Dan, and they turned their faces and said to Michah, What is for thee that thou hast been called out? And he said, Ye have taken away my gods which I made, and the priest, and are gone away, and what have I more? And how then say ye to me, What is for thee? And the children of Dan said to him, Let not thy voice be heard among us, lest men bitter of soul fall upon you, and thou lose thy soul with the soul of thy household. And the children of Dan went their way. And when Michah saw that they were too strong for him, he turned and went back to his house. And they took that which Michah had made, and the priest whom he had, and came to Laish, to a people quiet and secure, and smote them with the edge of the sword, and they burnt the city with fire. And there was no deliverer, because it was far from Thedorn, and they had no dealings with any man. And it was in the valley that lieth by Beit Rehob. And they built the city and dwelt therein. And they called the name of the city Dan, after the name of Dan their father, who was born to Yishrael. Howbeit, the name of the city was Laish at the first. And the children of Dan set up for themselves the graven image. And Yehonathan, the son of Gershom, the son of Morshur, he and his sons were priests to the tribe of the Danim until the day of the captivity of the land. So they set them up Michah's graven image, which he made all the time that the house of God was in Shiloh.